So what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. Before going into the video, let me know in the comments how did you spend your Christmas and your holidays. If you had some good gifts, maybe, <laughs> that's probably the best thing. But anyway, you already read the title, so we are gonna test some games on this new device. I mean, it's not that new. It's already around almost for more than a month, but they are updating this machine so fast. So it still new. I mean, it's still in, in beta testing for me. <laughs> but anyway, I've decided to test some games on the new MacBook Pro with the M1 chip from Apple. And I've chosen some random games. I mean, I downloaded some from my Steam and also I've tried um, some old titles and some titles from uh, directly from the App Store. And one thing that I wanted to test was the multiplayer capabilities uh, on the Mac OS, but the only game that I had uh, in my Steam library is not anymore supported uh, for Mac OS. So that was unlucky for me. But anyway, let's see how this new MacBook Pro does in those games. And the games are actually um, the classic, so Among Us, for now, it's a must. So I've downloaded directly from the App Store, so you can download it too from there. And actually, it's not fully supported on Mac, so you will find it on the iPad and iPhone apps. So you can just download it from there. And it's not supported because it doesn't support the keyboard, or maybe if you have a joypad from PS4 or something, uh, it doesn't work, so you just have to use your mouse as a touch. You do have to click on the joystick on the screen to move your character and to use the all the buttons in the game. It's not very comfortable to play on this new Mac, but it's it's playable, I mean, and also it's free. So if you have to play some Among Us with your friends, you can just download it on the Mac and just give it a shot. For the next game, I've decided to try Rocket League because uh, in the last period I've just installed it again for the maybe 20th time in my life <laughs> Rocket League on my Windows machine and I'm playing it with my friends so I've decided to download it also on the Mac OS because I knew it was uh, fully supported for Mac and then I just discovered that uh, the multiplayer feature on Rocket League is not anymore av available for Mac because it wasn't played uh, that much from the players so they decided to shut off the servers but you can still play offline with the bots or maybe just training so if you are around maybe with your Mac and you wanna keep training with Rocket League you can just plug your joypad and you just can keep training uh, your skills <laughs> maybe if you want the game uh, runs smooth it doesn't have many problems so uh, you just have of course to lower down the the graphics because otherwise you're gonna get some lags so it's not that much laggy but i mean if you want a smooth experience you just have to lower down your settings or maybe your resolution also another game that i found on my steam library because i have so many games that maybe I've got um, in those years for free, like maybe some gift and stuff like that. Um, it's Dirt Rally and this game is actually supported for Mac. So um, I decided to download this too. I've tried it with the default settings. It's running very smooth. It's also compatible with the joypad and I have the PS4 joypad and it actually works with the Bluetooth. So you don't actually need uh, some USB cables or stuff like that. So as I was saying, the game is running smooth and I didn't try any particular settings. I mean, the game looks good as you can see it right now. And you have to consider that all these games are recorded with the internal software of the Mac. So if they are a little bit laggy or maybe you, you see some glitches, on the screen it's actually the software for the recordings so keep that in mind but anyway if you like um, rally games and if you like the dirt rally series just open your steam and maybe you have this title too in your library and just download it and play it then i decided to not download 
the classic games that everybody try on the on their videos like Fortnite or maybe Tomb Raider because I've seen they run smooth so I thought that it doesn't need any other videos on those games too but if you want a video on maybe Fortnite or Tomb Raider or or any other games just let me know down in the comment because I can try to run um, any game maybe if I have it then of course if you want to play every game on this planet right now you can just use some um, game streaming platform like uh, the new Google Stadia that everybody knows but uh, not that much user just use I think and also the new GeForce Now streaming service I mean technically they are pretty much the same but I decided to try uh, Stadia so you can see some clips here and you have if you register you have like 30 days free so you can try it yourself you can play on any device pretty much uh, like your phone or this mac or maybe your tv and they work pretty much the same as i was saying but um the difference is that on stadia you have your um your subscription that is uh monthly you get some free games that you can play with your uh, subscription. You are paying for a uh, Stadia Pro, so you have uh, some type of games that are for free, but maybe if you wanna play some latest title and like maybe Cyberpunk or maybe Assassin's Creed or stuff like that, or maybe the new Watch Dogs, and you have to pay for the game too. I mean, it's like, it's like Steam, but you have to pay for the subscription because of course you have to pay their services. Instead, uh, GeForce Now, it does have two type of subscription for now. One is for free and the other is like the, the founder subscription that uh, I don't know if it's changing right now, but uh, you can buy the founders. It's like uh, 30 euros or around 30 euros for uh, maybe six months, if I'm not wrong. And it's working pretty much the same, but it has that uh, free subscription program so you just can play every game in the list but there is a wait list a queue that's that's like never ending so you probably won't play any games there there are some free games that you can play like apex or rocket league or maybe destiny 2 and some others so you can try that too right now and you can try to to wait for the never ending queue and let me know if that works because I didn't have time to wait uh, that long and I didn't want to pay for the subscription program because it was just to try something but I think it's not that much worth it so I decided not to pay that and so I tried only Stadia and the service is good I mean I don't have an exceptional connection I have like in the download I just have like 40 and or 50 megabits so it's not that much but I could play uh, those games I think that was like high quality and it didn't have any stuttering or maybe lag the quality was good the lag and the latency uh, wasn't actually there there are like a few milliseconds of latency so I think it's very good but I didn't try any heavy games like maybe I had to try like cyberpunk but I didn't want to pay like 60 euros for a for a game and then also another 10 euros for uh, the subscription so I decided not to I will try maybe in the future to see how it goes maybe when cyberpunk it's uh, bug free <laughs> probably probably never so <laughs> I'm just kidding and so that's it for the uh, streaming games services but um, as I was saying before if you want to try it just go onto these websites you just get all the infos if you want to try it or maybe not then one more important thing that I have to say is that I will leave uh, down in the description uh, some links that are very useful because uh, there is a, a website and a spreadsheet the website is just to know uh, what games runs on your MacBook, on the new MacBook M1. It's just for the M1 chips. You can just type your game in the box 
and the website just tells you if the game is running or not and actually how it's running or maybe not running and also on what is running maybe if it's running through Rosetta 2.0 or maybe if it's running natively on Steam and stuff like that uh, the spreadsheet is actually I think it's connected to this website because it's, it's actually the same thing but on the spreadsheet you can see all the games that are running actually on these new devices and the good thing is that uh, you can find all the settings for every game and another thing is that if you have one game that is actually running on this device that isn't on the spreadsheet you can also add this game to the spreadsheet so that everyone can know that uh, this game is actually running and so the spreadsheet is continuously updating because uh, every user are just um, importing some data, some important data. So for every games that you want to play on your Mac, just remember to go on that spreadsheet or maybe on the website too. I think it's the same thing and just check if your games are running and most important how they're running. If they are running 5 FPS on low graphic, I think it's not the case to play that game. So I repeat for those who want to play on the new Macs, uh, those websites are very very useful then I think for this video it's all but I repeat if you want to see any other games running on this machine just let me know down in the comments and I will answer you maybe if I will do a new video if I can do a new video because of course uh, not any game is running on this machine so actually I have to check several things before I can say yes I will do a next video on this game or, or that game because I'm not sure of it so I have to check it before but anyway write me down what you want uh, if you like this video just hit a like because it will help this channel grow and I will know that you have liked this video and this kind of video also if you haven't subscribed yet just consider subscribing so you will not miss any other videos on this channel and if you are interested on more videos on the new Max, just hit that subscribe button and anyway I appreciate your support I hope you have a good one and I will see you in the next video bye for now